Tim here. Um, taking a little hiatus from the flooring at the house. We, um, we've come up with a plan that will guarantee we can get moved in even if it's not totally ready by focusing on the master bedroom and buying a storage building. But that brought another problem um, is that we don't have everything ready to move the animals. Um, pigs we've got taken care of. I think I showed you those pens on a video a little bit ago. Uh, one for each of our little herds. Um, rabbits are good. They're in hutches. It can be moved for the time being until we build their, um, I don't know what you call it, big prairie land on the ground kind of thing. But anyway, they leave the chickens, about 40 of them, and we've got 11 new roosters that are just hitting the crow spot of their life. So they're getting a little feisty and it causes a lot of problems with our flock. And we do not have time to do a chicken culling and processing right now. We've got to focus on getting moved. So we have this. Now, I have not filmed any of this building. It's been a work in progress off and on for several days, but I'll try to explain to you what we've done here. The tin on the side here, here, and down to the bottom there was here. The front where the pallets are were completely open and this little metal awning frame like you can buy at Ag Supply or Tractor Supply or shoot probably Walmart. Um, it was here with a couple of pieces of tin nailed on the top and was just really leaning at about a 45 degree angle. Um, my dumb butt decided it was salvageable instead of just tearing it down and building a new one. New is always easier than trying to repurpose. Unfortunately, I can't afford new, so I repurposed. So, first thing we did, got the tin off the roof, got all those old rotten stringers off that they had up there, and uh, we set the pallets in as a wall, intending to be a quick fix. Um, but some of them were gapped pretty wide, and we don't know what kind of critters are out here. We may not be here every moment of every day until we get moved in, but the chickens are, so we're going to move them this week, hopefully. So I'm going with the quarter inch plywood on the outside. I'll be trimming that corner off to make it fit, putting another one in here. Um, we salvaged eight decent sheets. As you can see, there's a lot of sunlight coming through, but the chickens, they won't drown. Um, so yeah, this will suffice for now. Later on, we'll buy more tin and finish closing it in. I'm gonna close in the gable end up here with some plywood. Um, Every step we go, I am adding wood to the structure um, to actually support everything that I'm putting on. So there will be a wood frame built up here at the top of the plywood and tied into the metal pipe somehow. But um, that's where we're at. Um, this is gonna be the doorway. Even though they will free range, we're gonna have a door where we can lock them in. Um, we had really long sheets at the end. So instead of cutting them off, we just strung up a really quick fix, very temporary, will probably rot in a year, just sitting on the ground untreated. But it saved us about a four foot overhang. Um, that's gonna give us a place to hang feeders. And when we build the run coming off this corner, probably out somewhere close to this bush and out, um, we're gonna have it where if we say take a weekend trip, um, we can lock them in. They still have a run to feed on, but we'll hopefully be a lot safer from coyotes, foxes, what have you, and access to their house. Um, it will have another big opening that for the most part will stay wide open, but they will have feed and water area without having to go into the nesting and roosting area. And, um, yeah, I'll walk you around the front before I quit talking and let you see the plywood. And then when I finish up later today with it, I'll give you one final little short 30 second video update. But uh, that's kind of where we're at with it. Excuse my ladders, I'm not tall. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be the Chicken Coop 2.0 redo. And. Um, I need to knock it out so we can get those birds over here this week before they kill all our hens and uh, get back to the inside the house because I am ready to move.